सो वॉट इज़ अ पीपल वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोन आ बिल्ड ए कम्प्लीट डेवॉप्स प्रोजेक्ट इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट वी विल बी यूजिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज लाइक गेट अप एक्शन टेराफॉर्म ए डब्ल्यू एस एंड डॉकर इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट वी विल बी डिप्लॉइंग ए सैम्पल एप्लीकेशन टू अमेजॉन ई सी टू एंड वी विल बी प्रोविजनिंग ए अमेजॉन ई सी टू इंस्टांस यूजिंग टेराफॉर्म एंड वी विल बी डिप्लॉइंग दैट सैम्पल एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग डॉकर ऑन दैट ई सी टू इंस्टांस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स बिल्ड ए सैम्पल एप्लीकेशन we will build the sample application in node js i am saying node app and let's open a terminal and let's say npm init y so we have initialized our sample application and create one file like app.js and install now express in app.js import your express module now we want our app to listen on 8080 port right and let's say a message that is server is up now let's say what we can get as a response on our main index route request and response and let's send response back that is service is up and running right so this is our very very simple application so if you want to run it you can run node app.js so now if you go to your local host 8080 port you will see this app is saying service is up and running so our sample application is ready so we can deploy it on a docker container so now we need to write a docker file so that we can dockerize our node.js app so now let's create a docker file okay and now start writing our docker file so first we have define a base image so as a base image we will take node.js image and we will say node version 14 and then we just specify a work directory inside a container let's say user app and now copy our package dot json file into the current directory inside our docker image and then we need to run the command npm install because we want to install all the, all the packages we have right now just uh, copy now all the files from our application uh, to the docker image now we need to expose a port what was our port for application 8080 right now we have to run a command that is node App dot js right. So this is our Docker file for Dockerizing our this sample application right. So in the next task we need to write Terraform scripts for deploying a EC2 instance so that we can deploy our this sample application on that EC2 instance. So now let's create our Terraform scripts for creating that. Let's create another directory called Terraform. Inside this directory, we need to create another file for Terraform script. Let's say main.tf and first add our Terraform block. So Terraform block holds all the main configurations for our all the Terraform scripts. And in this, uh, let's specify our required providers. And so our required provider is AWS, right? And we need to add the source here. So source is Ashikop. AWS and we need to specify version also here and let's say version is greater than 4.0 and also inside the Terraform block we need to configure our backend so backend basically means where our Terraform state file will be stored for backend we need to specify S3 
S3 means uh, our Terraform sorry uh, AWS S3 bucket and here we can specify a key key basically means uh, like uh, what will be the prefix inside your bucket for storing your Terraform file state file and let's say EC2 deploy and here we can say the name of Terraform state file is terraform.tf state so our complete Terraform blog is here. Now we need to add a resource. Uh, so that resource will be AWS instance. But before that we need to configure the provider. Provider is AWS, right? AWS and here we need to specify a region, right? So region we can take from variables. So now let's work on our first resource that is AWS that is AWS instance. Here you need to specify a AMI for this. So AMI basically means that Amazon machine image. And so for getting that go to your AWS console and go to here AMI catalog. And we need to select a Ubuntu AMI, right? So Ubuntu AMI, you can copy this AMI ID for that and just need to paste that here. So now we need to configure an instance type. We will create a t2.micro instance. And uh, now we need to set up a connection. So connection will be type of SSH. host we can set uh, like self.public ip user will be ubuntu because in ubuntu machines user will be ubuntu always private key this can be taken from variables and now let's specify some timeout let's say four minutes okay and add some tags here so tags we can say name will be deploy vm or something so our next task is how you will connect your uh, AWS instance using SSH key so we have specified that the private key here but we need to uh, deploy that key on AWS so that we can connect to that right so for that we need to create a key pair also so let's say resource will be AWS key pair and specify a name to here like suppose deployer add a name here so name can be anything sorry key name key name you can say we can take from variables right next thing is public key so we need to specify a public key here when we deploy a new key pair so public key also we can take from variables so now our key pair is ready here so now how we can attach this key pair to this AWS instance we don't need that because we just need to add here key name and key name will be AWS key pair dot deployer and we need to add a key name right so we have attached our AWS key pair to this AWS instance now we need to add some special security group for our instance so that it can allow us the traffic from SSH and HTTP right so we need to create a resource that is security group AWS security group and the name you can specify anything like let's say main group or so egress let's specify a list for egress rules for outbound rules so our first rule will be like this ci cdr ci dr blocks
you can directly copy paste this all things also so description leave it here as as it is from port let's define a port range here let's say 0 ip v6 CIDR blocks yeah there's some typo I think define a protocol let's say for all security groups we can define for empty list and self take it false to port this is for port range specify zero okay so now our outbound rules is ready now add some ingress rules for inbound rules right so first rule will go for accessing through ssh so that rule will be this one right and this one basically we are defining a port range of 22 because 22 will be of ssh traffic right and another rule will be for HTTP access so for that we need to define a port called 80 right so our security group is ready now so our, our now we need to attach this security group to our main AWS instance resource so for that you need to say VPC security group IDs and go to this and let's say AWS security group dot main group dot id so this is completed now we need to add some im role also to this aws instance so that because we need when we deploy our ec2 instance we need to configure this or we need to connect this ec2 instance to our ecr because we need to pull that docker image uh, from ECR to this EC2 instance. So this EC2 instance should have all the access for EC2, right? So for that we need to specify a IAM role here. So how we can do that? We just need to add a IAM instance profile. So for that first we need to create a IAM instance profile. So let's say here, let's create AWS I A M sorry A W S I A M instance profile name it whatever you like you can say E C two profile and here we need to specify a name we can say E C two profile and we need to specify a role here. So what should be role goes here? Let's go to our IAM. Go to roles. So here we have already one role that is ECR login auto. So if you want to create another role, you can create directly to here and you just need uh, to select this AWS service and here common use cases select EC2 and go to next now here you need to select policy for your IAM role that is EC2 container registry read only so this is the policy and the role name you can specify EC2 ECR auth whatever you like right and just create the role so your role is created now so these are two roles so this these two are the same right so you can 
create your role just like following the same steps and just copy this role name here and add the role name here right so now attach this policy to here how you can attach aws im instance profile dot ec2 dot profile dot name right so our all things are done for our terraform scripts so now we need to create some variables also and so first uh, you need to create a output variable here so output variable will be uh, you can say instance because we need our instance public ip for logging in through ssh right so let's say output instance public ip and value you can define aws instance dot so in aws instance it is name so let's specify a name here let's say server and here aws instance dot server and let's say output will be public ip and here specify this will be a sensitive data so mark it as true so now let's create a variables file because we have too many variables here so variables dot tf and for variables let's define our variables first variable will be region because we will take our region from the command line and let's define a default region also let's say you as east one right next variable will be bucket right because we need bucket but uh, i think we have not specified any bucket here so we can directly use our terminal for that so remove this now create a variable for our public key right don't need to add any other things here variable and let's say private key another variable will be key name right so our variables are done and our main.tf file is ready for now so now we just need to configure all the things so that we can run this terraform scripts on our github actions runner using a ci cd pipeline we need to write the complete ci cd pipeline so that we can deploy the ec2 instance uh, using our ci cd pipeline on github actions workflow so in the next part we need to write a github actions workflow to run this uh, terraform script so that we can deploy a ec2 instance using a ci cd pipeline and terraform right So for setting up our GitHub Actions workflow, so first of all, we need to add some secrets inside our GitHub repository, right? So first of all, let's create our first secret that will be AWS access key. Let's say AWS access key ID and you need to paste a AWS key ID here. So how you can get that? You just need to go to your AWS console and you can generate your access key ID and access secret key right so you need to add the both of them here so next you need to add your secret id here secret key aws secret access key now we need to add our state bucket name let's say aws tf state bucket name how you can get that you just need to go to your aws console aws console search for s3 go to s3 so if you don't have any bucket you just need to create a bucket i already have a bucket here so i need to copy this name of this bucket and we just paste that bucket name here so our secret is created right so our next secret will be our private ssh key and our public ssh key right so let's say aws ssh key private so for generating your key just use ssh key gen so it is saying like in which file you want to save your key let's say 
key for AWS and keep it empty so our this keys are generated let's say key for AWS so this is our private key we just need to copy this copy this complete key and just paste the key inside this secret add the secret and next we need to create a secret for our public key let's say aws ssh key public for that just key for aws dot pub this is our public key you can generate these keys using the same ssh key chain command so our secrets are ready here so now we can start writing our github actions workflow so first of all let's create a new folder called dot github inside we need to create a folder workflows and inside we the workflows folder we need to create the file for our workflow yaml file so let's say deploy dot yaml right so our file is ready so give it a name let's say ci cd with terraform we can say and let's specify some triggers let's say push specify your branch name let's say what is my branch name is complete ci cd with terraform AWS right and now specify some environment variables so our environment variables we can also get from like uh, from our secrets right so let's say our first environment variable will be AWS access key ID this will come from secrets and another one is aws secret access key this will also come from secrets right and next one is our tf state bucket name this will also come from secrets next one private ssh key this will also come from secrets next one is public ssh key this will also come from secrets now we need to specify aws region so region we can directly specify here let's say us east one and now just paste our secret names here for key id or secret name was aws key id this is our secret key this is our tf state packet name this is our private ssh key this is our public ssh key so now let's start writing our job so our first job will be deploy our infrastructure and so let's name it deploy infra and it will runs on we can say ubuntu latest define some outputs here let's say we will keep it later and now start our steps so our first step will be checkout right and for this uses actions checkout let's say version 2 and our next step will be setting up terraform set up terraform it will use hashicorp action hashicorp 
set up terraform version 1 and here uh, we need to define some inputs let's say with terraform wrapper false if you keep it as false so you can use your terraform outputs within your workflow in the next steps right and now define our another step so our next step is just terraform in it so now in this we need to run terraform init command and within this init command we need to our configure our backend also because we need to store our tf state file to s3 bucket so now specify a bucket name where is our bucket name we can say tf state bucket name environment variable this is our tf state bucket name right and config our region for backend bucket and let's say region is us east one right so in this also let's we need to specify our working directory for it because our terraform scripts are inside terraform directory and give this step a id let's say in it so now our next step will be terraform plan terraform plan in this give it a id let's say plan and now run our terraform plan command terraform plan and here we need to pass our specific variables let's say for region we need to send let's say us east one another variable will be our bucket but i think bucket we are not using so our next variable will be public key so our public key is inside this environment variable public ssh key next variable is private key private key and this environment variable was private ssh key now specify a key name here that was our variable key name so we can specify like deployer key right and now let's make output of this plan let's say into this plan and specify our working directory also here because we need to run it inside terraform directory so now our last step will be terraform apply so let's write that also here let's say terraform apply and give it id apply run terraform apply command here terraform apply and we need to apply for this generated plan that we generated in the last step right and here specify your working directory that is terraform so our workflow our complete job is ready for deploying a ec2 instance so first of all we need to deploy ec2 instance let's check it and let's push it push it and we will check that it is working or not so let's say deploy infra push it so once you push it you can see inside your actions tab your workflow will be running so our workflow started
so there was uh, one typo that is is this ubuntu let's correct it ubuntu latest okay then we can push again okay so cancel this workflow and the new workflow is created so new workflow is executed here go to this so our job is started it is setting up terraform it, it is initializing the terraform here so our plan is started so now our terraform apply command is running so it is creating all the resources that we specified inside our configuration file So our job is completed successfully and it is saying output is instance public IP and our all the resources are created. So now if we go to our AWS and search for EC2. So if we go to our instances we can see there should be one instance that is running that is created using Terraform. So you can see here. Here it is. So our complete job is done. So we created a Terraform. We created a EC2 instance using Terraform and through a CI/CD pipeline. So our next task will be: uh, we need to deploy a Docker image on this EC2 instance. And first, we need to build that Docker image, and we need to push that Docker image to ECR. Then we need to log into using SSH to this uh, EC2 instance. Then we need to deploy that Docker image by pulling that Docker image from ECR. Then we will deploy that Docker image on this instance. So our next task is task will be that. So now our task is to deploy our application using Docker to this EC2 instance that we have deployed using Terraform. So we need to create a new job here. We named it deploy app and it will run on Ubuntu latest. So now if you notice one thing here, when we need to connect to our EC2 instance using SSS then we will need the IP address the public IP address of that EC2 instance so how can we get that we if you notice one thing uh, using this Terraform apply we can we get a output variable that is instance public IP IP address right so we need to make a output variable here let's say outputs define a output of this job let's define server public dns or let's say ip and here create another step for setting the output of this job right so let's say set output and in this you need to run a command that is echo set output and name will be instance public IP and this will be a command that is terraform output instance public IP so using this terraform output command we will get our instance public IP and we need to set this as output that is instance public IP right so give this step a ID let's say set IP and here use this step output so let's say steps dot set ip dot outputs and what is the name uh, 
let's correct this name instance public ip right so we are setting up a output here of this step and from this step we are setting up this output as a job output and from this job output we need to uh, take this output here from this job to this job so let's say so this job will should should run after the first job right so let's say needs deploy infra right and now start our steps so our first step will be checkout use actions check out and you can say version 3 or 2 whatever you like and name this step is login to aws pcr so after this step let's say our step will be like setting up a output or a environment variable github environment variable we need to take this output from this job right so how we can do that let's say set ip environment variable and here we need to run a command so set the github environment variable here let's say server public ip needs dot deploy infra dot outputs what is output of this job is server public ip right copy this and paste here and add this to github environment variables so now we have a github environment variable in this job that is server public ip and this is referencing from this terraform output that is instance public ip right so now our next step is to log into aws ecr for this we will use a aws action this is a aws official github action that is aws actions amazon ecr login and you can see version 1 so we don't need to specify any inputs here because we already have these as environment variables like access key and access key id and secret key right so our next step is to build a docker image build push docker image right so we need to run some commands here and here set some environment variables for registry we need the registry for e amazon ecr how we can get that we can get uh, our registry from this step so give a id to this step let's say login ecr and we can get this as a step output let's say steps dot login ecr dot outputs dot registry right and our another variable will be repository so set a repository here let's say example node app and image tag will be our github SHA means our commit ID and now specify our AWS default region. So, what is our region? Our region is AWS East 1. Now, let's run some commands. So command first command will be docker build because we want to build our image and name it as registry. repository and tag it as image tag and we will build this image from our current directory now we need to push our image so copy the same url here for this 
image and i think we don't need this default region here we only need these three environment variables so now it will build our docker image and it will push our docker image to aws ecr so now our next step is to deploy this docker image to pull this docker image on our ec2 instance and then we will deploy this as a docker container so for that let's say deploy docker image to ec2 for that we will use the action that is apple boy ssh action master with it will take some inputs uh, one is host username key environment variables and one script so for this host let's add some environment variables here right so our first environment variable will be registry repository and image tag add all these three environment variables here and now add our aws default region also here us east one right so what is our host name our host name is this environment variable that is server public ip env dot server public ip username will be ubuntu for every ec2 instance that is using ubuntu ami and key this should use our private key so environment dot private ssh key that is here private ssh key so what are the environment variable we pa we want to pass to this script these are private ssh key and this registry this repository the image tag also we need to pass these environment variables that is aws access key id aws secret access key AWS default region also let's pass for our convenience AWS region right now start writing our script to deploy our image docker image so first of all let's update our Ubuntu instance and then install sudo apt install docker dot io y it's for auto yes and now install aws cli on it because we want to authenticate with ecr now we need to log in to our ecr right using docker so let's say aws ecr get login we don't need to include any email because we already have our IAM setup on this region US East 1. So this command will log in using Docker uh, to Amazon ECR. Now let's say if any container is running my app container, let's say name it and it does not exist so it will accept like true so another is we need to remove the my app container if it is running already so now our step is to pull the image so what is the image image url is this one docker pull then we need to run 
this docker image as a container name it my app container publish it on 80 port and on our container the port is 8080 and now just add your image url here so our complete job is ready so first it will check out it will clone the repository then it will set this environment variable from as server public ip address then it will log into aws ecr then it will build the image and push the image to ecr then it will update our ec2 instance it will log in using ssh and then we install docker on that we need we need to install aws cli on that then we will log in using docker to amazon ecr then we stop our container if it is running already and we need to remove our container if it is running already and then we need to pull our latest image from ecr then we need to run that image as a container on port 80. so now let's push our new changes and let's say deploy docker image so when we push we already know our github action will be executed so our github action is executed and first job is running that is deploy infra so it will do the same like, like our ec2 instance is already deployed so it will say like nothing need to change So we had an error here because we did not specify any working directory for this docker build. So now let's add that and now push again. So our GitHub action is executed again. So it will run the first job first. So our first job is executed now it is building the docker image and it is running the second job. So our complete job is executed successfully. Now we can see our application running on EC2 instance. So now let's go to AWS console and go to instances and if you go to this auto assign public ip address you will see our service is up and running so our application is deployed on this ec2 instance with complete ci cd pipeline right so now let's quickly refresh like whatever we have done in this project so first we created a sample application then we wrote a docker file for it because we want to dockerize our application and then we create that some Terraform scripts for provisioning a EC2 instance. Then we used our CI CD pipeline to build a Docker image and then we pushed that Docker image to AWS ECR. Then we deployed that Docker image on EC2 instance. Like first we pulled that image from EC ECR and then we deployed that Docker image on our EC2 instance. So our application is deployed using complete automation with CI CD pipeline and we provisioned our ec2 instance using terraform with complete automation so this is the complete project is done so if you like this video please hit the like button and do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching